Something is really happening to the prosperity preachers in uh, Christian religion. Many of them, televangelists from America, from Nigeria, all over the place. You know them. I will not name all of them to you. You know of um, the Redeemed uh, Christian Church, the Deeper Life, the Chris um, Oyakilome uh, group, the Chris Okotie, all of them, a lot of them. And the big time ones from the United States and all over. Pastor Creflo Dollar, he is one man that has been very popular in this prosperity preaching. He once asked his congregation to help him to buy a jet, private jet, for $65 million. He asked them that everybody should contribute $300. That's some years ago. And the press was after him. Many people attacked him. But now the man has been preaching that we can become anything once we are believers. Suddenly, he has made a 180 degrees turnaround. Something struck him, struck him, and he has changed. Before we give you what Creflo Dollar said, which concerns you also in Nigeria and all over the world, different peoples, kindly like this channel, share this video, subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. Remember to click the notification bell. So, what happened? Creflo Dollar said, he's based in Atlanta in the USA anyway, he's now like coming to his senses or something, and he released a new video to his uh, 30,000 member World Changers Church, International Preachers, and he's saying that that word that has been causing a lot of misunderstanding and problem called tight, that is not biblical. He said no more titan. After he has preached it for many, many years, 30 years or thereabout, I don't know. And he said anything he has ever preached on titan, any book he has ever written on Titan, any video he has ever released on Titan, everybody should throw it away. He stood before his congregation and he said, Today I stand in humility to correct some things I have taught for years and believed for years. He said Titan is not biblical. And this is happening a few years after another uh, televangelist and world-renowned preacher, Benny Hinn, also made a 180 degrees turn around and said, Titan is not biblical. He's no more going to preach about prosperity gospel, about Titan and the rest of them. So, what do you think is going on? What do you think is going on? The explanation of uh, Creflo Dollar is that Titan was an Old Testament teaching. And that is true, it's in the Old Testament, and is no longer pertinent for New Testament believers. He said this Titan business started with Abraham when he met Melchizedek, when he was coming from a war, and he has gained... Um, some loot and he gave 10% of it to Melchizedek and since then the people of Israel has been charged to make donations of any of their produce to the priesthood 10% different percentages for priests and all different kind of uh, um, yeah <coughs> obligations so that's what they have been doing. But he said that when Christ came, everything changed. We are now under grace, no more under the law. Because the law was made in the Old Testament that you have to give a portion of whatever you earn to the priesthood for different other obligations. But now, since the coming of Christ, 
we are made to understand that we are no more living under laws. Laws, laws, laws of the Old Testament, giving tithe and the rest of them. But we are now under grace. We are under grace. And that is what has happened. And many people are shocked. Many are confused. Many are saying, what is going on? That many have accused Creflo Dollar of enriching himself on the backs of credulous low-income worshippers. And now he's changing his mind. I don't know about you. It's a very long video that he released to talk about this. It's about one hour. So what we do, we're going to uh, put the YouTube link to this video. In the description of our, this video we are releasing. So that you can click on that and go to YouTube if you have time. And listen to the whole over one hour teaching. And maybe it will change your life. Maybe you become a pastor preaching prosperity, uh, prosperity and titan. Or maybe you will not. But go watch the video and see for yourself. But there are some pertinent questions that we want to ask. We always like to discuss, to hear from you, to know what you think. Because it helps us to grow and to know what to bring to you, our viewers and listeners. The question I'm asking is, do you imagine, do you think that a Nigerian pastor, one of these powerful ones that have private jets, will one day say that Titan is not biblical? Do you think any of them will follow the path of Creflo Dollar or the path of Benny Hinn? Do you think Nigerian pastors will one day say, don't bring your naira. Don't bring 10% of your monthly salary to us. Don't bring 10% of your profit in your business to us anymore. We don't need it. What you are preaching is wrong. Do you think you will hear that? And if they do, after collecting those tithes for 30 years, are they going to pay back what they have collected from the people? Or they just confess and that's the end of the story? These are things that we have to answer. And we don't have the answers, unfortunately. So your input is very good. Go down to the comment section. Tell us what you think. We will leave it at this until we hear again from you. But meanwhile, just a gentle reminder to please like us, to share this because it's going to benefit a lot of people. And then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Remember to click the notification bell so that once we release any update on this matter and others, you will be receiving it immediately. Uh, we appreciate you and see you in our next video.